Good afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are. How are you guys doing? Michael, that was I'm gonna take that on that temporary unmute as yep. a good doing all right. <laughs> How you doing? That's it's all right. It's, it's Friday. That's maybe the best thing that uh, that's going on today. The end of the damn week. Hi everyone. Hi Emily. Should we give it a few more minutes? I, I know John was having internet issues uh, earlier this morning. Uh, and I do think he's, he's out right now. I don't see him online at all. It's too bad. Um, Emily, am I right that you all are uh, um, coming up with the, the actual speaking? parts for April 9th or uh, May 9th I'm guessing for the actual talk you yeah so that was already recorded oh was it okay cool yeah so that's that was due Monday um so that that's been done and taken care of oh cool that's right because it's not actually physically happening in one place and it doesn't have to happen live no, it's all pre-recorded. So the talk has just, uh, it's a high-level overview of the outlines and the justification and reasoning behind the paper. So yeah. more high-level themes about why we have it the way that we have it, what it's addressing, what its goals and objectives are, all of that. Yeah, I, I saw John's, John's speaking bits. Okay, so I've got the issue pulled up. Oh, there he is. Hey, everyone. How are we hey. going? We didn't start without you. <laughs> I, have, I have had uh, some really interesting internet connectivity issues today. Um, really enjoying it. Glad it's Friday. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> um, apologies for that. Um, so I guess <laughs> I just was that a just, full green screen, Cole? <laughs> yeah, I had a for I had the talk for Cloud Native Security Day, and I've been too busy <laughs> to clean up my mess. Um, so it'll happen. But, but I love that there's a door in the background, so it completely <laughs> ruins the magic. <laughs> yeah, I know it's great. Um, it wasn't as wide as it looked like on Amazon when I ordered it. <laughs> it's 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 making me feel more relaxed. It's good. Good, good. So, um, how do we want to take this forward? I guess Emily, from from a from the perspective of getting things done and moving it to the next step with uh, with um, reviewers and such. Yeah, so typically um, what happens at this point is the document is locked from write edits by the writers and the contributors, and it's converted into a suggestions only mode. Um, the reason why we do suggestions and comments is as an adjudicator of the document, it is far easier to simply go through and accept or reject or comment on a suggestion than it is to take comments and copy and paste them into the document. So we we like to have suggestion mode as well as comments turned on. It makes it a lot faster faster for adjudicators to go through and just accept things. A lot of the time, um, we'll get more comments than actual suggested changes. Some of the suggestions are usually typo errors or grammatical corrections or slight rephrasings of sentences just to make it easier to read and understand. 
Um, there, the group of adjudicators is usually small. It's about three to four people um, who, during the course of the community review, basically watch their email for when people make comments or suggestions, and they go through and they try to clean them up as they come in and occur. Some of them do require uh, conversations through the comments about what's going on, or reaching out to the uh, commenter directly for assistance. Um, there, the intent behind being an adjudicator is to ensure that the comments and the suggestions that are being made do not alter the intent or content of the document beyond what it was originally intended for. Um, when we go to contribute it to the repo, like the final document, that's usually where we write up like, this is the intent of the document, this is the history behind it, these are some of the decisions about how we wrote it the way that we did, and if somebody were to make changes to it, this is what we would intend them to keep in mind or align their changes to be like. And that's usually um, what the adjudicators going through this process will refer to is something like that, or they'll agree to those items um, ahead of time, and then they usually end up writing what that readme is for contributing to the repo. So uh, once we have our adjudicators identified um, and the documents placed in suggestion editing mode, I can send the email out to the lists and we open it up for community comments. You typically, Chris or another person on our mailing list will open it up to the talk mailing list as well as the community mailing list. So expect to get a lot of comments. I think on the Cloud Native Security paper we had over 2,400 comments and suggestions by the time the document was done and that included the original editors as well. So quite a bit. Right, excellent. So, so um how do we um, ascertain and, and uh, set up adjudicators? Uh, so typically they are individuals that have core right access to the document. So when you go to the Google Docs permissions, because right now, I, last time I checked, it was very locked down. Um, you go through and you add people as editors based off of their email. And then the link, the there's like a share link. You change the share link permissions from read only to suggestion. And that will enable suggestions and comments for everybody Com that's accessing it from the URL. Got it. I, I've got it as commenter as opposed to as viewer, commenter, and uh, editor. The commenter does the suggestion piece. Yep, cool, done, okay. So, um, and so it's now everyone can comment and the editor is gonna be the adjudicators. So, so Correct. in terms of identifying who would be an adjudicator, is that we, we as a group, we just pick ourselves or is there? Yep, as a yep, group, cool. you guys pick. I got don't it. seem to have the ability to comment, John. Uh... Is it the correct URL? Because sometimes they can change. Uh, it's the one in our title. Yeah, that's where I'm at, Richard. What's your email, Richard? You uh, it's our Julian. I'm I'm logged in as the what I've what I've edited in the past. Our Julian five seven at gmail dot com. Yeah, um, see that. Interesting. Okay, now I did oh. I did a I did a hard refresh and now I'm in suggesting mode. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Thanks. Yep, but in, but in terms of the actual adjudicator then. Oh, no, I'm uh, actually not signed in at all. So anybody can suggest from the, the greater internet. We are allowing it. That's everybody. correct. Okay, cool. So that, but, that's the uh, permission taking in. So, so that's set up, but but in terms of the actual adjudicator, um, do we have a, a view of who wants to be adjudicator? I mean, I wouldn't mind being one. I but would recommend. process or? Nope, no process. I would recommend no more than four people that have a surplus of time over the next two weeks because this the comment period will run for two weeks and then we'll need the owner of the document to lock it down to view only. Good. I'm on holiday next week, so so I've got lots of time to do this. Actually. I was gonna say, and so you want to do this as your holiday? <laughs> Man, we we can barely we well we we can actually move around tomorrow. The lockdown is almost over but yeah I saw you guys is, can't fly to Mallorca uh yeah so I I'm, I'm up for doing that but any any other takers uh, Emily how, how many how much time does that take every yeah how much did it take for the last white paper 
Um, so some days were busier than others. It, do, it typically does not take long to actually go through and adjudicate some of the suggestions because it's literally you get the email, you open up the doc, you go through and click accept or reject, accept or reject, accept or reject. Um, some of the comments, you need to be decisive in whether or not the comment is providing value on feedback to that particular section or if it's just somebody making a point. And you're empowered as the editor of the document to, if a comment has a much better turn of phrase than what we have in the document, you are going to take that and you're going to add it in. So if you're comfortable um, with the overall core text and you understand what we were trying to say, those are usually individuals I recommend. But from a time commitment perspective, I wouldn't expect more than an hour a day tops Perfect. for two yeah, weeks. I, I can block out an hour a day for the next two weeks to, to do this. I would recommend doing it closer towards the end of the day or early in the morning to catch up on the stuff from the previous day. And there's four of you potentially that could be doing this. So it's a lot easier. Um, whoever gets to the comments first or the suggestions first, that's great. Um, there were a few occasions where I had a lot of back and forth with somebody. I actually got their direct email and we started emailing and discussing a particular area to try to understand a little bit more what they were looking for. I was, I was just going to ask that. What if they don't have that dialogue back and forth with you? That's fine. If okay. you have an issue with the comment, just resolve it and move on. Right. Give it a I, couple days or something. Yeah. I usually recommend um, pro replying to the comment. If it's one that you're just, anytime you're going to resolve a comment, go ahead and reply to it. Um, regardless of what the status is, if you're incorporating it or rejecting it. Um, you can also reply to a comment and link it to an issue number in the repo. So if it's something you want to tackle later, that's also doable. That way they'll get the email notification that, hey, this is being taken care of elsewhere. For suggestions that we're rejecting, if it's small, minor, typo, grammatical things that like ultimately change the intent behind that particular sentence, feel free to just reject them. If they are rejections because they rewrite the entire thing and it's kind of controversial, make sure you include a comment on before you reject it. That way they get the notification and justification as to why. It's just a courtesy thing. Okay. And you're probably going to hurt some people's feelings, but don't feel bad. That's not a problem for me. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah i I'd, I'd be an educator adjudicator if, if there's if one more needed are we all this is another thing are we all taking the exact same comments are we all going to get the same updates and the same okay yes Give me a raise cole can you ping me your what what is your email address can you just remind me all uh cole k42 here i'll i'll send it to you on um on slack thank you or should we split different sections or areas across the people? It won't, unfortunately, Vinod, it won't, it won't filter notifications based upon the sections that people comment on. So there's not really an easy way of doing that. I guess what we could do is we could, if we needed to, if somebody is more familiar with the subject matter, we could just ping each other on Slack and be like, hey, go, go. Can John, can you handle this section about in Toto? Blah, blah, blah. We can do that. Yep, that would be the recommended way to take care of it. How do people, Emily, how is the word getting out to, for, to have people review this? Uh, through the CNCF mailing lists. Okay. Um, so I send it out to SIG Security, and I'll probably ping our talk liaisons to send it out to the talk, and then usually somebody else with higher level permissions emails it to cncf all so everybody will get it at that point um i have not tweeted it in the past because i don't want everybody on the internet <laughs> to go through and have an opinion um yeah. but usually we keep it within the cncf community don't be surprised though if we get government or research or academia that are not common members in the community providing feedback. This is also a good opportunity for us to get more uh, security members. Great. Cool. So we have th three takers. If if there's not a fourth, that's fine. We can uh, put it to maybe the Slack room. But if there is a fourth adjudicator, no one wants to put the hand up. I 
can help, sure. John. You want to do that, Bernard? Yep. All just right. to be super fair, is that okay? Or does anyone also want to be I'm trying to be sensitive to everyone's needs, right? Anyone have a burning need that they want to be an adjudicator? Nope. Okay, well, there's four. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit send on that draft message, and I'll ping our talk liaisons to get that taken care of. Um, so if you all are subscribed to the SIG security mailing list, you will see that email coming shortly. And awesome. adjudicators, it's open for two weeks. So by April 24th, it, the document will need to be locked. And we'll, that just means changing the URL permission from comment to read only. Right. Got it. Okay. Sound good? I think we're good. Think yeah? We're good. Awesome. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Um, All right. And yeah, I've taken multiple copies of it on a regular basis, just out of sheer paranoia. <laughs> cool. Anything else we need to to go through? I mean, that sounds reasonable for 24th. Yeah, uh, next steps after that is once all the comments have been adjudicated. So typically, um, we'll stretch it for another week after that through the 30th. So we'll lock for editing on the 23rd slash 24th. And then we'll, there'll be a grace period of about a week for the, for the rest of this group to go through and, and review the document and make any changes. And then after the 30th, that's when we engage the CNCF to provide the PDF beautification of the document. Awesome. Um, At that point, once they give us that copy back, we'll have to be very um, particular in going through and verifying all the footnote numbers line up, all the URLs are correct, um, and that we're not relinking to other parts of the Google document. The last one we had, we had some URL errors that just linked to a Google doc that no longer existed. Right. Got it. Excellent. Uh, so since editing is limited right now, uh, so I see there's a section assigned to Nisha from March 26th. Uh, it's the sharing and exchanging S bombs. It doesn't have any content. Um, I think we need to make a call and delete it or edit ourselves. Right delete now. it. Yeah, okay. I think Anders uh, gave me a heads up that he's not going to be able to do one part, so I'm going to delete that. There's also a dangling that. section notes. Uh, fairly close to there right before the securing deployments um, and it has just bullet point notes that I think are probably extraneous hopefully won't make it in the final document I, I think we're at the point now where we have to be quite aggressive in that look if it's not in it's not in delete it unless you are personally going to put it in right I guess I can make a suggestion to delete this stuff that way it's there you go Okay. Sounds good. All right. Excellent. I think we're good. All right. I should send it out in the next couple of hours. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much, Emily. Thank Thanks you. Much, Emily. All right. Thanks, everyone. Is there anything else we need to go through or are we all done? All done. Fantastic. Well, Cole, I'll leave you to your uh, beautiful, uh, calm and quiet, serene view behind you. And, uh, it's just Beautiful. out of jealousy, to be fair. <laughs> uh, all right, y'all. This was a, this a, was a quick right. one this time. This is nice. <laughs> going over time by, by 20 minutes on ourselves. Exactly. Um, exactly right. All right, I'll give people time back, their time back. Thanks a lot, everyone. Cheers. Thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend.